Radio. Hello and welcome to Courtney TV where I offer up tips and tricks to help you on your journey to becoming more fit, ripped, and feminine. Today, um, I'm answering a question from Jamie, which is actually, it's a very commonly asked question and it's pretty relevant in the world of women and fitness, which is, well, she asks about supplements. What supplements work best? And what kind should I be using? Are they effective? That sort of thing. And it brings up a great point. Do you need supplements to get where you want to be? So I'm going to answer the question um, and tell you kind of my view on supplements and my take on the whole thing. So to dive right in, uh, personally, I think supplements are just that. They're supplemental. They pair really, really nicely when you've got nutrition and you've got eating down and then you're training, you're training appropriately and you're training hard. Then, yes, I believe supplements do have a place in training. Now, the, what I don't like and what happens oftentimes because mar they're marketed in a certain light and uh, they're talked about in certain ways and they're really really out there um, kind of on display saying if you want to achieve this result then you need this supplement or what whatever they're saying but a lot of these supplement companies and a lot of these supplements out there they aren't going to do shit for you and that's that's just it's as simple as that I think there's a place for them in your training on a more essential level, things like protein, because protein is a supplement. It is it comes in powder form. You can you know buy whey protein is really popular. Um, you know fish oils super good. Multivitamins to get your micronutrients in. Those sorts of things, I'm all about. Okay, those are great. There's there's a place for them, and there's a use for them, and they can benefit you um, and complement your training and your eating. What I want you to stay away from and what I would never recommend you go you go out and search for or jump on board with are things like fat burners, green tea extracts. Um, basically, they, I mean, they package them a lot of different ways. They say a lot of different pretty things that sound very attractive, but ultimately when you strip all that away and you boil it down, what they're saying is this is a fat burner or this is a, they're all going to do sort of the same thing, a lot of them out there at least. Now, they can be expensive, they can be useless, uh, they can potentially, some of them depending on what you're taking, they can harm your body um, or not necessarily be good for you or keep you moving forward. And a lot of times, if you walk into a nutrition store or a supplement store, um, if it, depending on where it is, I know there's lots of different ones out there, Complete Nutrition, GNC, are those some big names, Vitamin Shop. Um, if you walk in there and you say, and, and you're kind of uneducated, I'm, I'm going to guess that the person behind the counter it will try and upsell you, saying that you want this and this and this, depending on what your goal is, um, and they'll try and throw a bunch of supplements at you with a big promise. And let me tell you a quick story. Uh, back when I was really into like P90X, I actually I had just kind of gotten away from the DVD stuff. I was hitting the gym, so I was weight training. I was pretty new to it, but I was definitely committed. I was consistent, and I was really in there giving it my all. I wanted something. I was really ready, you know, to take it to the next level. And I'm like, what is going to do it? And this is when I just remember, and I can't believe I actually did this. It's it's ridiculous thinking back, but so I remember when. CTS, I think it was CTS 360. Okay, this was an insane, they call them stacks. Basically, a bunch of pairings of different supplements stacked together in a group. You buy a bundle, if you will, that's geared to just give you this total body transformation. So, I went into complete nutrition, okay, and it was just packed. They had discounts and stuff, and CTS 360 was released, and it was just this insane supplement stack that was designed to get you absolutely ripped. You were, I mean, it was going to just transform you. And I was like, yes, I want that. I want to just look really slim, sleek, and just totally sexy. So I went in there, and I get a guy, like a salesperson on me, and I'm just like, gosh, this is really what I want. And man, it sounds really cool. It sounds like Sounds like it's going to do exactly what I want in my life for me. And he's like, yeah, I mean, you, you're going to see, 
you're gonna see some crazy results. You're gonna get so jacked. And I was like, oh boy. Okay, um, it's like $400. This stack was like $400. And I don't remember the duration that this lasted me, but it was, I don't know, maybe it was like 30 days, 60 days worth of supplements. Whole bunch of different ones. I mean, it was annoying. You take them like some of them you had to take in the morning, some of them with food, some of them on an empty stomach, some of them you took before bed. Uh, it was just an insane little package that I totally bought into and he sold me. I, I walked out of there $400 poorer and really, really excited. I took them based on the schedule he gave me. You know, I took the supplements as I was supposed to. I kept training. Granted, my nutrition wasn't completely dialed in at this point, which is maybe why I was turning to supplements like a lot of women do, um, hoping that they can kind of not worry about the food so much and then instead replace it with a pill or a powder that will, you know, kind of like expedite the process. So I took CTS 360 and all it did for me, besides not give me what I wanted, um, when I took that stuff, when I've taken any kind of supplemental like fat burner or something designed to just incinerate fat from the body which are which are fat burners I get really kind of gross feeling I feel weak in my training I get like sweaty I can't sleep well I'm jittery whether it's caffeine whatever's in this stuff um, it did not help me progress one bit all I did was waste a whole bunch of money and time um, you know, really trying to execute on it when ultimately it, it just left me high and dry. So that's just a little story I wanted to share. I invested in the big stack. I invested in what people told me were going to do amazing things and really it, it did nothing. So I want to come back now to the supplements that I do recommend. The supplements that can help you on your journey to creating this fit and ripped sexy body. And these are going to be protein, fish oil or omega-3 fatty acids, uh, a good multivitamin, and your BCAAs. So we'll go into one just briefly, just kind of on why I recommend them and uh, what they can do for you in your training. So pro starting with protein, it might be pretty obvious, but protein is uh, an essential nutrient. It's a macronutrient, meaning it's big time. Um, definitely need it to build and define your body and shape the muscle. So protein is a great supplement because a lot of times it's hard to get enough through food. Um, another reason why whey protein specifically is so popular is because of its rapid absorption rate. So basically you drink a shake after a workout when you've just you know broken down your muscles and caused damage to the muscle tissue, you drink a whey protein shake and it instantly, it starts feeding your muscles, it starts that rebuilding and that growth process, which is awesome. Um, what I will recommend though, I used whey protein for a very long time, years, before I switched and I kind of went over to a blended protein, which is basically a combination of whey, egg, and casein proteins. The reason that a blended protein is so awesome is because you still get the, the benefit of absorption right away with the whey protein, but then you've got some egg protein, which is a moderately fast digesting protein, and then casein, which is a super slow digesting protein. And this is great because after you drink the shake, your muscles got some protein right away, your muscles will get some protein a little bit later, and then the casein is going to keep it going, you know, for up to, like up to eight hours after you drink that shake. So it keeps your body from going into that catabolic state, which is catabolism is when your body turns on your muscle and starts breaking down muscle tissue for energy. You don't want that. Um, what you want to do is build your muscle up in the gym keep it fed, keep it anabolic, keep it in a state of growth and repair. That's how you get those gains. So the second um, nutrient I'm recommending, oh, a good multivitamin. So if you're taking a good multivitamin, I don't know how that can hurt you. All your micronutrients, your vitamins, your minerals, those sorts of things are important. They're important in a, you know, absorb, for absorption rates in the body. Um, all around, there's a huge benefit to taking a good multivitamin. Beware though, most of the stuff you're going to get in the drugstores, Walgreens, wherever you shop, uh, you're probably just peeing out. So do a little research, find a good multivitamin um, with reputable reviews, and maybe invest in that. I personally drink a liquid multivitamin, um, absorption's on point, 
and it's got everything I need and it tastes super delicious. It's like a fruity little shot I take every morning. It's, it's great. Third supplement I'm going to recommend would be a fish oil or any omega-3 fatty acid. They can come from all different kinds of fish, krill oil, whatever you want to take. You know, I could go off on such a tangent on omega-3 fatty acids and the benefits that they have in your body, in your training. It's so far reaching, okay? Take a fish oil. Take a fish oil. It's super easy. I think you can pop them in the morning. I, sometimes I take them throughout the day. Sometimes I take them all at once. Um, but I do take them. I think they're really important in your nutrition and in your, in your system. They do a world of good for your heart, your joints, all these things. It's mass benefits. So a fish oil or omega-3 fatty acid, it's what you want. And lastly, tying things back in with protein are your BCAAs, which stands for branch chain amino acids. So these are, think of these as like the building blocks to your muscles. Okay, branch chain amino acids are found in your proteins. Um, there are two types, there's actually essential and non-essential. So what that means is some of those amino acids are produced naturally by your body, not in massive quantities or anything, but some of them are produced naturally and some of them you get through foods and are not produced by the body at all. So by taking a BCAA that combines, you know, a good bit of the essential and the non-essentials, um, they do a world of good for you too, whether you're, I mean, especially if you're training. If you're breaking down muscle tissue and you're trying to rebuild and to shape muscle, use the building blocks in the protein, add to it, help make them stronger. These are, these are your BCAAs. These are the building blocks. These are the things that help you repair, recover. They help with muscle soreness. They're just absolutely amazing. Um, you can get them in all kinds of fun flavors, but uh, they're good to take during your workout, right away in the morning, sometimes at night. I take them at all different t times of the day um, and they can do you a world of good. So those are my thoughts on supplements. Those are my suggestions to you. Please stay away from like the fat burner stuff, the stuff that's gonna strip you down and claim to get you completely ripped or get you wherever you are or shed like 50,000 pounds. Stay away from that stuff. Invest in your food, invest in your training. Okay, just wind it back down to the basics. There's too many people starting out, too many women starting out, not quite understanding you know, where they should start and they see all these attractive ads for supplements and stacks and stuff and they go and they blow a whole bunch of money on a bunch of stuff that's not really going to serve them. So I'd rather have you just boil it back down to the basics, dive into the food, dive into your training. You will get results with that far more quickly than you will you know, guzzling down any pills or powders all day long. But I will recommend the protein, the fish oil or BCAAs, and a good multivitamin, okay? I know I went out of order there, I'm sorry. Those are my supplements that I do recommend. Uh, that's all I have for today. I hope this helps you out. I hope this kind of helps steer you in the right direction, maybe beam your focus in the right direction. But uh, that's all for today. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please share it with your friends. If you have friends who wonder like what supplements they should be taking, why they should take supplements, if they should, share this with them. Uh, and if you haven't already, head on over to my site, CourtneyHarwood.com, and get on my list so you don't miss any exclusive content or updates that I only talk about in email. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.